Hi, it's good to see all of you. It's been a little bit because I've been really busy. I have some time today. Today is Memorial Day and Pat's going back to work today. So I decided I would come on and show you a new product. SkinCeuticals has added a new sunscreen to their line. It's Daily Brightening UV Defense Sunscreen, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Brightens and evens skin tone. I'm going to read a little bit about it so that I don't leave any of the pertinent information out. It's for all skin types. It's lightweight residue free. Daily brightening UV defense sunscreen. Uh, combines broad spectrum UV protection and a potent blend of discolorate, discoloration correcting and hydrating ingredients for brighter, more even skin. I have been experimenting with sunscreens to see how my makeup layers over the top and so today I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the SkinCeuticals. SkinCeuticals is a trusted brand, you know. This smells like sunscreen, so if you like the way sunscreen smells, you'll really like this. I'm keeping it away from my eyes because my eyes tend to be sensitive to, to sunscreen. It feels moisturizing. Smells good. Smells like sunscreen. And a little bit citrusy. When we get to the foundation, we'll talk more about the sunscreen and about how my foundation is going over the top. I'm going to use the Dose of Colors today to prime my eyes. I had a request from someone that wanted to see some Pat McGrath eyeshadows, so I pulled some of those out today. I took too long blending this in, so I may need a damp beauty blender to get a smooth application. I don't know, it's doing pretty good. This is just uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills makeup brush. Probably came in one of the eyeshadow palettes. I pulled out this palette and this palette. I'm gonna refresh myself as to what is actually in these palettes and then we'll, we'll go from there. This is this palette. I can't remember what this one is called. I'll put the name right here. And then I have this palette. And it looks like this. So let's see if we can create something spectacular with these two palettes. I'm going to begin with the brown in this one. I washed brushes this morning. And I did not bring them back over here because they weren't finished drying yet, so hopefully I have enough right here for what I need. So I'm going to define the crease area with that brown and drag it out on the edges on the outside. It's pretty so far. I haven't used these in a bit. Can't say why. I just get off on tangents and forget where I left off. I hope all of you had a fun memorial weekend. Got rested up for your work week. So that's a that's a nice everyday look right there. But we're not going to stop there. That would be so unlike me. Okay, for my lid color, I think I'm going to use this gold to this gold. The neighborhood had a pool party with food trucks and live music. We didn't do that. We came home and 
got wound down for for bed. We went out and had dinner. We had Mexican again. I know that's not very Memorial Day like, is it? All right, so there is the lid color. Where shall we go from there? I haven't, I, I, obviously, I didn't plan anything. I just, I just figured meeting the request of the Pat McGrath shadows was. That's as far as I got. Okay, I'm going to use that purple and bring it underneath. I think I'll use it underneath and on the outside corner. If you want this color intense, it, it looks like you have to you have to stamp it in there. Otherwise, it diffuses quickly. Liking it so far. So far, we don't have to take it off and start again. I know, as if I would. So the temperature has really dropped here. I think it was like 57 this morning when I got up. I decided to do my video, washing my hair, fixing my hair, and doing my video and walking in the wrong order today. I'm going to wait till it warms up to go for a walk. Yesterday I walked and it was windy and chilly and I came back with an earache. I had my uh, earbuds in to listen to a podcast so I don't know why my ears hurt because I unless just breathing I do not know, but anyway, so today I'm waiting for warmer weather. All right, so there's the purple. I think I'm going to take this brighter yellow. This is the first, this is the first gold I used was this one right there. And now I'm going to use the one in this palette. And I'm going to use it along the border of that brown. Like that. I think I will take the green in this, it shifts. I'm going to take that and put it inside the purple. I may go back and blend that so it's not so choppy. That's the purple now. I didn't want to lose anything. There's a really light champagne color in this one. I'm going to put that in the front. Are all, I, I'm, my impression is that all of Pat McGrath's stuff is over the top. Am I wrong in assuming that? This is an interesting color too. I'm going to take the turquoise and I'm going to put that on the front. like I'm lining only the front of it and putting that original gold right in the center. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes. 
I pulled out a different mascara today. I got a new tube of Rodan and Fields. I felt like my Rodan and Fields had lost its efficacy. Hopefully we're going to be seeing some some eyelash growth soon. I'm going to take this Essence I Heart Extreme Mascara. I can still feel the uh, sunscreen. It's not completely soaked in. It doesn't leave a white cast, right? I could actually use a little bit of pigment correcting right up in here along my hairline where my brow has got spots. I bet I don't get my skincare up that close to my hairline. Maybe that's why I have brown spots up there. I'm not sure what what I let's see I use the City Beauty a lot at night and then I also have a little skincare set from Zoe. I'm pretty sure the one from Zoe has bleaching properties. That's a good mascara, right? Oh, poo. Can't, can't do a look without bumping your face with mascara. It's not complete unless you do that. That's an interesting look so far, right? I'll go back and clean up the divvy dab when I, in a minute, after it dries. I'm going to take my espresso pencil from NYX. It's the brow powder pencil. You want a great... <laughs> I'm big on, I'm big on sharpeners. This one's a great one. It's the Urban Decay Grindhouse. It's, it's an awesome pencil sharpener. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can fill in this hole that I always uncover with the, when I start brushing my brows up with the gel. I'll see if I can go ahead and fill that in so I don't have to come back. Did anybody shop the Memorial Day sales? I did not. I wasn't inspired. I've already bought two handbags this spring and most of the time when I need a pair of shoes it's for when I'm going to either go for a walk or go for go to work to do a hair and makeup and I have plenty for both of those occasions. And then, as far as clothes are concerned, I have black clothes coming out, coming out, overflowing my drawers and closet for for work. And then, because I don't go to the gym anymore, and I just walk by myself, or occasionally with my friend, I don't need any spiffy spiffy workout clothes. Okay, brows are done. All except for the, the gluing. I'm going to lay it on its side and saturate them good. And then fluff them up. So Pat and I finished watching City, City on a Hill. It has Kevin Bacon in it. That was good. We watched the whole thing. And now we are watching something else that everybody else who wanted to watch it have already watched. And that is Dexter. We're on season two. I would say Dexter is more tame than Sons of Anarchy was. Alright. There is the brows. Let's do, let's get the mascara off. I can still feel the sunscreen. It's still tacky. So it doesn't dry down to a silky finish. Opposed to the last sunscreen I shared with you. 
but that's, you know, that's not a deal breaker, right? So, yeah, let's do foundation. So, the foundation that I've been enjoying the most lately is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin, and I have it in Y335, and it lasts. Um, let me see what brush the one. I, I pulled the Beauty Blender out, so I guess I'll use And I love tubes for foundation. Okay, here we go. I think I got too much. The reason I'm using a beauty blender with this today is because all my favorite foundation brushes are wet. I know, what's the difference between a wet brush and a wet beauty blender? Probably none. I'm going to feather it down. Let's see what I'm observing so far with it. Layering. It seems to be layering fine. You know, sometimes stuff like that pills underneath, balls up underneath your foundation. But mine's not getting a chance to do that because I'm pouncing it on instead of wiping it on or brushing it on. Yeah, I think I got too much. So I'm taking a clean side of my beauty blender and hopefully picking up some of it. Okay. Foundation application complete for now. I pull out my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, run it up the middle of my nose. So I went ahead and put on my blush and I used the bronzer from this Jack Jacqueline palette. It is the B Rouge Espresso Shot palette. It's bronze and blushing duo. And I used the bronze part. It looks like I could use I could use some pink in there somewhere. I think I will pull out my Anastasia Beverly Hills new palette. It's called Peachy Love. I'm going to use that as my blush. And I have a highlight on. And the highlight is the Roy G. Biv eyeshadow from ColourPop. And mine, I, th I think they used to be a little bit cushy. Mine is dried out, so I scraped the hard part off <laughs> and rubbed it on my high cheekbones. And then, to make it meld and not sit crusty on my high cheekbones, I tamped it in with a damp beauty blender. I also took some of this Roy G. Biv. It's a sparkly, it's a sparkly eyeshadow. Let's see if I can. And I rubbed some on my lips. And then I put the City Beauty Clear gloss over that, anticipating a clean out in my makeup. And I'm seeing if I can repurpose anything or if it just needs to go. This is a Chanel pencil. It's in light brown. I felt like my lips needed a border. It, they looked like they were just blending in with my face. That's better. I don't remember who it was that asked for me to do a Pat McGrath look, but those are the only Pat McGrath eyeshadows I have. My face feels, it feels dry, but that's probably because I used the Velvet Matte foundation from Makeup Forever. It, the foundation laid smoothly over the sunscreen and again, it's the SkinCeuticals Daily Brightening UV Defense Sunscreen. And I will give you updates on whether it's lightening some of my discoloration around my hairline. 
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I look forward to our conversation in the comments. Ta-ta!